Stars. Michigan State been really good defensively so far in the Big Ten season. What did you get? Where did you guys think you could get shots and, uh, and so on? Uh, we knew we knew we could, um, they they wasn't that good on the ball screens as far as um, mix. They they hit they hit a little bit too much, and we knew we had guys like Mike Davis that can slip, Jeremy that can slip, and, and get some easy lobs and easy baskets that way. This drew penetration because they all all stuck in the lane, and Brandon got hot and, and bounced on Drew penetration, kick, and dribbling it in and kicking out. Better or is it just a matter of just you know being frustrated because the shots still on the phone? Uh, yeah, I mean, both. You know, our biggest thing is we gotta learn how to win games. Uh, you know, you know, shots not falling. We gotta find other ways to to get buckets of this. Going to the hole, get draw fouls. We, we got to do something, but you know, when shots not falling, you know, we had, we had, we had great shots. We had great shots that just ain't going in. What'd you talk about? How much different was it having Jeremy out there on the court tonight? Uh, it, was, it was it was real different. He, he brings a lot of adjustments to the game. He caused a lot of match, mismatches, and he can go get rebounds. So we need to get a battle in and, and get some rebounds for the for, for fire from the fours and fives. And he did that. Just him be back out there. You know that the line always gonna be his family. You know, me and him had a strong relationship before we even started the line nine. So um, it's great to see him back out there. He's a real good player, and he brings a lot to the table for us. Do you notice any difference between Illinois' offense uh, from the past and what they have now? Do it seem like they have more sets versus? Um, you know, they do have, you know, they are running more sets, but at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the play, after they run their sets, they're still into their regular motion offense. They they testing a lot of our shots. You know, we got good enough shooters to make them. You know, we got guys in there working on their shooting. So, you know, uh, that's a good question. You know, we we work hard on it. So, you know, they're for us. We just got to stick to what we do. You're knocking down shots, especially at home. You know, everything is going your way. It's tough to stop that. And a lot of your shots were contested, but they're knocking down. Did you talk about the physicality? It was a very physical game. Um, you know, I, you know, a lot of guys stepped up and you know they played physical, but we played physical as well. And you know, it was they got physical in there, and like I said, you know they just knocked down shots and they hit some tough ones as well. What would you? How would you? Uh, the way that the game was called by the officials and and you know fouls inside and out. Illinois played Wisconsin, you know, last game and there were like a record amount of fouls. And so our guys were a little bit happier with the way that it was called today. Did you think it was called like a regular Big Ten game? I mean, one thing we don't do at Michigan State is you know worry about what the officials did. So I mean, I don't even know what it was called like. The referees called the game. This is my microphone. <laughs> um, oh, what's what happened to your your mouth? I got hit. Who who got who got you? Oh, it was in practice. Oh, okay. Because you know the Illini big man. A lot of people say they're soft. So <laughs> if they could have bloodied you up, that would have been pretty funny. Can you talk about the, the officiating tonight? Because I saw that you you had sort of free reign inside, and you know Mike Davis gave a couple of funny looks after you went up on his back and got some <laughs> rebound putbacks. Um, you know if you get it. You get it. Uh, it. It was as, as expected to be on the road for us. Um, you know, you're not going to get every call that you would get normally because you're playing on the road and they're home court. They're probably going to get a majority of the calls. But um, we had opportunities in the game where we should have been able to, to pull it out even though things wasn't going our way. Do you think that it was called a tighter, looser, or, um, I mean, what did, it, did it feel more like a Big Ten game? Because this is for Illini fans, basically, and, and uh, I think after the game of Wisconsin, you probably saw some footage of that, and it was just like 70 free throws. Um, it didn't feel like a, a Big Ten game because it wasn't as physical, because it was called a little tighter than normal. Um, usually Big Ten games are 
street ball games where fouls are happening. There's no foul calls. You just have to play through it like man. And like, uh, it was times where it was a lot of shit to call. I saw one time that you got hit in the face or something, and then you were in the corner, but you ran back, got an offensive rebound, and got the ball in, and got some free throws. Yeah. Uh, How do you make that transition so quickly? Uh, that's Big Ten basketball for you. Um, being a junior, I know that's how it's going to be played, so I can't expect the foul call to be coming up. I got to play through it, and, and luckily I got the foul. I want to that. Okay. Well, thanks, Tom. No problem. Good luck. This will be the first time you've gotten to play number one team since you've been here. Is that uh, like for really for any of the guys? Is that gonna? When does that start hitting you guys? And when does that start kind of happen? Uh, happen everybody? Oh, it's gonna hit. A, it's gonna hit us soon. Start fighting since those lumber and they're gonna be yelling and every. It's gonna be real intense. So it's a, it's a good challenge for us. And I think once we get once we have challenges and have to face them, I think we we show up more than anything.